tension between Venezuela and its neighbors and the peace process in Colombia were the two main issues discussed on the second day of the United Nations General Assembly. In his speech at the UN, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro referred to the border problems between his country and Colombia and expressed his satisfaction with the work done so far to smooth some of the rough edges. I can say right now that I have very positive expectations that the roadmap will be followed and we will restore relations with the Colombian government, Maduro told the General Assembly. But the other border issue Venezuela has with Guyana over the Essequibo region is not as promising, despite UN assistance. Maduro and Guyana President David Granger agreed to reinstate their respective ambassadors at a meeting on Sunday with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon as well as work on a resolution to the Essequibo conflict. Granger, however, used the General Assembly to call an end to Venezuelan aggression and the freedom for his country to live based on international laws. Meanwhile, Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos also spoke at the General Assembly days after signing the agreement with the FARC as part of the peace process being negotiated in Cuba. Hoy vengo a ratificar ante el mundo. I come here today to ratify to the world that one of the more than 20 armed conflicts that exist on the planet that creates so much pain, so much poverty and so much suffering, there is one in my country, in Colombia, that is in the final stretch of finding a real solution. Despite their importance, these conflicts were eclipsed by a summit to build international support to fight terrorism caused by radical Islamic groups. Also, in the UN hallways, US President Barack Obama and his Cuban counterpart, Raul Castro, had their second meeting after the two countries decided to normalize relations after over 50 years of animosity.